Alright guys, I have a new video for you I'm a little excited about. Um, what it is, and the reason I'm excited is because I just got here a Droid Razor HD. And I'm going to show you guys what we're going to do with it today. Today we're going to be in using a utility called Moto Chopper to get root access on this device. And so let's kind of go through some prerequisites on it. Um, we're going to go into settings and show you about phone and just show you what we are running. Uh, this is Android version 4.1.2 which is Jelly Bean. Like I said, model number uh, is Droid Razor HD. And then this is the system version is 9.16.6.XT926. So this is the XT926 Razor HD. That is the uh, Verizon edition of it. So you can see all that information right there. You want to make sure you're obviously running this to use this utility. This utility also will uh, get root access on the Razer M and the Atrix HD, um, along with other Motorola devices. And I don't, I think, from what I understand of it, it doesn't even matter too much what Android version they're on. It's supposed to work on a bunch of them. No, not for sure on all the testing on that. I haven't done too much. I know it works on those three I just listed though. Uh, so you're going to want to go in here and go to developer options right here. Make sure it is turned on and make sure you check USB debugging. Uh, that is definitely going to be a prerequisite for this. You need it to get root access on the device. So make sure you've done that and make sure you've gone ahead and installed the Motorola drivers. I will put links to all this stuff in my video description down below. And I have a video on how to install the Motorola drivers on your Windows PC. Um, in the description obviously below too along with all the files you guys are going to need for this so we've gone through those prerequisites on the phone um, if you're wondering why I don't have signal or anything I don't have a sim card in this device right right now so I will be doing that but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to root this device first so we've got those prerequisites made let's go over to my computer and check that out basically what we're looking for is this zip file right here it's called moto chopper and you're going to go ahead and extract it, which I have actually done. You can extract it with 7-Zip, which is what I like to use, which is this program right here. Uh, you can download it off the internet. It's, you can find it everywhere. CNET.com has it. It's great from there. So extract it with that. So it's going to come as a zip file. Go ahead and extract it. Then you're going to end up with this file right here. And this is going to be all of your files right here to get root access on this device. So basically all we're going to have to do here is hit this run file, which is a Windows batch file. Go ahead and click on that and read through this. Like I said, this works on the Motorola Razer HD, Razer M, Razer Max HD, and Atrix HD. Supports lots of other devices as well. So it says go ahead and make sure that USB debugging is enabled, which we have done. You have the latest drivers installed. Like I said, watch the video if you don't know how to do that and then we're going to plug in the device so go ahead and take your USB cable and plug it into the phone recommend plugging it into the back of your computer those slots seem to work better go ahead and unlock it and then just set this thing down you can yeah you can't see it but on top it says USB debugging so just so you guys know um, that's it so now it just says press any key to continue so I'm going to hit the space bar here and we're going to see how this runs through let me zoom up on this for us Alright, so we're going to hit the space bar here. Now we got some good view here. And hit it. It says waiting for device. Starting successful. It's go ahead and pushing files, running the exploit. Pushing this, rebooting phone. This may take a few minutes. Successful, cleanup, exploit has completed. Press enter to reboot and exit. So it says everything was successful. Let's go ahead and press any key. And the device is going to reboot. I mean, that's pretty simple. Uh, shouldn't be much to it. You just, you can see it ran right through it like nothing flat. So let's go over and we'll look at the phone and we'll show you guys we have root permission and we'll check it out then. So let's go look at that. device is rebooting as you can see. At this point you can go ahead and unplug it. So let's take a look at it. Alright so let's take a look at this. I just downloaded Root Checker to go ahead and check to see if this phone now has root permission. 
So let's go ahead and try it and see what we get here. Agree. Okay. Verify root access. Um, this is just going to go ahead and there it is. So you're going to say remember choice forever and hit allow. And there you go. Congratulations, device has root access. Boom. Done. Super easy. Ran that utility like nothing. Uh, the dev on this thing was obviously genius when he came out with this one because that was the easiest root process I went through. Just one little script and it was done. Um, so there you go, guys. You have root access now. This with super user right there. There it is, that's the uh, utility or app that was allowed. And there is super user, so pretty simple. Like I said, man, running the uh, Droid Razor HD, running on Jelly Bean 4.1.2. Bam, super simple. Gotta love it. There it is, root access on the, the Droid Razor HD. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please subscribe down below. Check out my website right here above my thumb. I update this thing daily. Lots of good information on there, including a bunch of good download links on there. Um, follow me on Facebook or Twitter, and we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.